Alrighty, so we are back, and I brought you a couple of cool lists here. Um, well, I think one of them is really cool. And I think one's and really colorful. And one's really colorful, and also has actually a really cool story behind it. Um, so Ben Knott brings triple star vipers into the top eight. This is Prince Shizor, Dalen Oberos, and Guri. I do want to do a quick shout out to one of uh, my boys, um, Jeremy Shaver, who said Dalen Oberos will never make a cut. <laughs> was, was, he, he's, our, he's our Star Viper guy, okay. and he just hates Dalen Oberos. He's so got such a cool ability. He does have a cool ability. But, uh, you know, Ben Knott's top eight, he actually just beat a ghost list. Yeah, uh, if, if you told me if you told me Star Vipers would be top eight at the beginning of today, I would just look at you and say I don't believe you. Right, exactly. So, um, and this is against uh, Anthony Marchand. Uh, the D is silent. He makes sure to emphasize that Ooh. the D is silent. Um, <laughs> and this one cool thing here, um, we're gonna have um, Gordon Berg from Stay on Target come over. He has a pretty cool story about those ships there. Uh, they're being used as, as proxies for the Wookies. I would say that they're 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 pretty cool. So I like them. Yeah. We'll let 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 them be. Um, so, but though for anybody who's joining us, those are uh, our Wookie gunships, mm -hmm. and uh, since they're color coded, it actually makes it super easy to stream. Oh rather, yeah. rather than the plain all the tucks that he did have, it's like, yeah. do you want me to swap these out? I went, nope, makes my I job so much easier. I was really kind of hoping that the blue one would be just the wrong blue, so <laughs> it would just be invisible the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you put it in the dice box, it would be. <laughs> it's just, it'd just be the stand. We're gonna have to try that. Yeah. In, in intermission, <laughs> hey, can you just? All right. So he uh, looks like he's. Banking away, Banking setting up away. to, setting up to like, kill box one of them. I think. Yep. So for anybody who hasn't played against quadruple Wookies, um, these PS ones have a lot of health. Yes. You're going up against 36 hit points with reinforce. Uh, so however many turns it takes to kill one, add one health for every, yep. every one of those. This game is going to time, right? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Oh, speaking of time, uh, there's an hour and 12 minutes. Oh, let's uh, go ahead and reset that clock. You said 112? 1, 111.50. Oh. I mean, if we're being exact. Wait. No, no, no. Uh, uh, we need, we need uh, 11 more minutes on the clock. Sorry about that, everybody. I was trying to be cute. Pause. Reset. Go. There we go. Sometimes. All right, there we go. Got it. So clock is up. Reinforcing the front. Um, I'm going to expect, let's see, which Star Viper is which here? We'll find out by the order that they move. Um, I believe, th okay, so, so that that's is. Guri. Um, yeah. That's Guri. I think she's always in the middle. Give me a mic. Make way. Hey, Gordon. Right. Yeah, let's go ahead and pass that. Okay, Gordon, pass that over. Here. <laughs> let him Let him sit down. Uh, all right, try that again. Now it's on. No, no, I, I never repeat myself. <laughs> all right, so Gordon, how's it going, man? Wait, hang on a second. What? You have a mic on your face. I did that intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do my Zach Matthews impression. <laughs> Who called my what? Oh, a dial? Okay, thanks. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. So um, Not really sorry. This is... Uh, this is one of uh, Anthony Marchand is one of your locals, isn't he? Yeah, Tony Marchand uh, uh, is uh, we're in Kentucky and uh, he's stationed currently out of Fort Knox uh, and travels uh, for the military and stuff like that. But when he can stay uh, and play with us, he he does so. Um, for any of those people out there that listen to our podcast, a segment we had started was. Uh, basically fathers and their kids that play X-Wing together. A yes, and, and I we love give, that. We give shout-outs, too. Yes. Tony was the originator of that idea. Awesome. We're, we're playing a game at our local store, and he just mentioned his son um, about how he'd listen to the podcast, and he was starting to get slightly obsessed about Star Wars and X-Wing and stuff. Awesome. <laughs> and we're just having this conversation, and I'm like, you know what would blow his mind is if we'd give him a shout-out on the podcast. Yep. And next thing you know, this... Uh, you just get all these people writing in, talking about their kids, uh, and they appreciate the family-friendly format of the Absolutely. podcast. Um, and uh, it's just been a big, big hit. It's getting to the point where we're starting, like, dads are starting to give references to other dads, saying, "You, I know you don't listen to podcasts or something, but you want to check this out." So we're, right. we're having people tune in just to get a sense of the format, and then write us in. 
That's awesome. In the hopes of uh, doing a shout out. So, anyway, one of mm-hmm. those dads, his name is Scott Karch. Okay. And he's out of Illinois. And he had written in about his kids and how one of his kids uh, is like the rules guy at their local store. And uh, they've got an X-Wing league at their school. One of his teachers has started stuff like this. And so he was asking for donations. And so I'd send him like a ton of ton of ships like yes stuff like that um so in res- in appreciation for that scott gets a 3d printer and says we've been going nuts with this thing do you want anything okay and i said you know what's super cool is those people that run those wookies like the lats from right. clone wars and stuff like that yes so uh he's and i said and i thought it'd be cool if we did like tron colors and he's like i got you <laughs> and he sent me those that's amazing uh and so on the, the latest podcast, I talk about old man brain. I'll just run Wookiees or something like that because my decision tree is less. Well, okay, wrong. You, you do have to fly the Wookiees a little bit to kind of self-cover yourself and make some correct decisions. And I think that's evidenced by Tony, who just beat a ghost to get to, right? Yes. He just beat a ghost fin when that should not go his way with that sensor jammer and stuff like that because he's now having to take up focuses and not take reinforce and so the strength of the Wookiee list which is damn mitigation he's not doing that he's going to make these punchy Wookiees right um so you know you've, you've got to do some correct decisions with them but uh he's been flying Wookiees locally for a long time and so he had asked me when he heard the podcast about how I'd said I'd gotten these sent to me by Scott he's like if you're not going to fly them can I fly those right and I said sure maybe you'll end up on the stream <laughs> ta-da here ta-da. we are yeah and you know what? I was telling people, I love that they're color-coded because it makes my life so much easier. I did this for right? you. Yeah. Or, orange, blue, green, yellow. Scott like. did this for you. He, he even printed out bases that match the color and pegs and stuff like this, and I measured them against the uh, FFG product, and they're exact. Awesome. He even did some kind of color-coded thing that he was hoping I would, like, glue onto templates or something to match it all, and I'm like, I'm not going that far. <laughs> That's an amazing story, man. I love that. So we're super proud of Tony. That's awesome. Hey, Gordon, you want to join me for this game? Well, it depends. I, mean, I, know, I know you have your... Uh, I'm about to go get my butt kicked again in the Wave 1-3 to three, uh, <laughs> tournament. I've, it's, I'm rusty with my TIE Swarm skills. I really blew it. So the question is, how many TIE Fighters are you flying? I'm flying seven, and guess who died last? How Runner. Right. How it should not go, right? <laughs> I know, but <laughs> when she's got no one to boost. All righty, so... Anthony uh, playing very patiently, which is what the Wookiees have to do. He does not want to really go into that uh, asteroid field. And I think Ben is trying to trying to slowly lure him into uh, into uh, into the into Isn't this asteroids. nuts that he's up against a triple Viper list and one of them isn't even Thweek? Right. I mean, what do we know? We don't know anything. We don't know anything. What's been all over Basel? Really? Really? Yeah. Oh, man. What do I know? I'm the worst, remember? Right. Gotcha. But this is for people that can, like, fly. Yeah. Right. For the love of God, right? Let me look at this list. All auto thrusters, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh yeah, all auto thrusters. Yeah, I the the decision is: did you go PTL? Like, why isn't there tweak? Because you can't take PTL on him. So better to go with. Oh yeah. Like Zizor or something. Yeah, that's exactly what he's got. That's crazy. And he's not flying Zizor because of the ability. He's just there because he has the the EPT. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and Gordon is from the Stay on Target podcast. I see somebody asking what podcast. Stay see on- now, if you have to ask. <laughs> I, I don't know. Come on. He doesn't even want you to No, this now. proves my point. <laughs> Who? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we're never mentioned. We're never talked about. It's so embarrassing. I talk about you guys. Uh-huh. I do. Uh-huh. I do. You are, it's Gordon Berg, the official power provider of the Gold Squadron Yeah, and I, you know what the first thing I did when you had your stuff all set up? I go, where's my power strip? It's not even here. <laughs> Actually, it got stolen. <laughs> I don't know. Are you serious? Yeah. Um, oh where, where, where was, I'm not, I, I probably shouldn't say where I was. One of the events, it turned up missing. <laughs> <laughs> I was sad. Oh, man. We'll, put it, we'll, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't Craig Cup. 
Oh, someone's asking, is that Tyler here? Yeah, that's Tippett, Hero yeah. of the Empire. Tyler Tippett of the Scum and Villainy podcast. That's still a thing. How many podcasts do we have here? Four? Remember that time we went on the Scum and Villainy podcast? Five. Five. Who's the fifth? You lost oh, you lost which one? Is that actually? Tidarium. 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 Oh, right. Biff. Yeah, Biff is here. Yeah. Tidarium, stay on target. Uh, OCX. OCX. Gold. Gold Squadron and Scum and Villainy. There we go. No joke. I really love the Stay on Target podcast. Uh, what a suck up. <laughs> I'll, uh, no, thank you. We'll, we'll, you make now our seventh listener. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Zach. Look, we believe in quality over quantity. Uh, no, it's a function of just um, – there's two billion podcasts out there, you know. And, and, it's, and my personal opinion is we've gotten to the point where there's enough um, – Oh, what's the word when you're having inappropriate uh, contact with your own family? Um, but a safe term for that. Uh, what's the word? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking. Very interwoven. Yeah, and so and so, and the result is right, we do have combat here. Okay, real quick. And so the result is we have uh, a lot of echo chamber feedback stuff. All so. right, so we got hit crit coming into one of the Wookies. Uh, this is not the reinforced side, uh, and that's going to be one shield on the orange. Wookie. So, he was able to get outside of that arc and uh, say, hey, no reinforce, not this time. Wow. So, if I whine, I get all this positive feedback. Correct. That's amazing. Uh, that, that's some really interesting conditioning that's happening right now. Well, thank you, guys. I love you, too. All right. <laughs> I feel relevant again, Zach. <laughs> And uh, the answer was January 19th. Wait, the last time they published an episode was January 19th. We we roughly try once a month, maybe. Yeah. Uh, ish. You know, there's enough content out there. You, they, they don't need us. What's that? You would have been if you had won your match. What happened there? The, you, you blame it on the, the shuttle, right? Yeah. Okay, well then, you're relevant. Right, Piggle McWiggles, thank you for subscribing to Twitch Prime. So let's take a look here. I know I haven't really flown Star Vipers too much, so I'm out of – I got. He's really dancing around to get – okay, so the whole point of this list is to not be an arc, right? Right, exactly. That's kind of hard to do against these Wookiees, right? right? Unless you can really get behind them, and then at that point, Tony's going to force to break off into pairs to start covering each other. Exactly. But you're seeing Tony go up the side of the board there to really close off at least half the field as a vector to get behind him. Yep. So at what point does somebody blink and we get into this stuff? So that's uh, Dalen Oberos there at the top. Gurry's in the center. All right, remind me of Dalen's ability because I don't fly. He, he, he's not here to do his ability. He's here because he has an EPT. Yeah. Gotcha. So we don't care. Limit. Yeah, he can only do it if he's unstressed and he won't be. He'll be pushing every time. All right. Oh, have we started the second round? Will you go find out where I'm supposed to be and apologies to my opponent? Oh, but I'm having fun because people told me they love me. Do I have to go play? <laughs> Who's my opponent? It's fine. Go play. It's all right, man. You mean go lose? Is that what you define as play? It's just I'm so excited for Tony. <laughs> it's okay, I was trying to talk to you about this last night, and you're telling me who wants to go against this. Come on, this is good stuff. Exactly. <laughs> the challenge is on is on Ben here to fly. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here is uh, here's the hard two. Uh oh, Tony's committing. He's committing. Here's what I do. If my opponent wants to play, then I'll go play. Otherwise, I'll stick here and just take a take a loss. All right. Is my opponent back? Yes. Ask him if he wants to play, and I'll be right there. If he's cool with just taking an auto win so I can comment, that's fine. But otherwise, if he needs me to play, I'll be right there. All right, so 
we do have the, uh, the target lock out there on the blue guy. How do you keep your voice, dude, at these things? Voice exercises. <laughs> yeah, but my vocal cords are just shot. Uh, You're just superior genetics? Yeah. Th that's yeah. the only place I have superior genetics because that, that's on your, your amazing singing voice? Yeah. <laughs> you got tabled. I just got tabled, okay. <laughs> Man, I really, I am the worst. <laughs> he didn't have to get up from the chair. Alrighty. So My MOV is gonna suck in this event. So we're uh, we're waiting for the Vipers. Um, dial wise, I know people haven't really flown the Star Viper too much. So the greens on the Star Viper are the one banks and the one, two, and three forward. Uh, so you can see their options there. They have that bank barrel roll. They're like a mini Echo, right? I really wish that they had a hard three. You can't achieve the same thing through shenanigan moves. So cheating on stream alert, what do you mean? Don't, don't. don't oh, target lock is on orange. It should be on orange. The target lock should be on the orange guy, not on the... Not on the blue guy. Oh, do you want me to do my job? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> the judge is literally sitting over my, my, my shoulder. He's a little tired. So we're going to barrel roll out. I mean, there's so many tokens on the board. It's e easy easy to happen. But here's uh, here's the barrel roll sideways. He's going to go as back, far back as possible. Make sure you get those auto thrusters engaged. All right, Tyler, I want to pretend I know how to analyze a game. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to whisper to me, and then I'm going to say it as if it was my idea. So let's give this a try. Okay, whisper, but don't let it be heard in the mic. Go. He's going to shoot orange. He's going to shoot orange. <laughs> All right, so I think he's going to shoot the orange Wookiee. Oh, that's some awesome stuff. All right, <laughs> let's see what happens. <laughs> I couldn't see <laughs> What did you think I was doing? I don't know. Wait, what? <laughs> I couldn't see the stuff that was going to be red. Anyway, let's, let's, let's get back to this game here. We're all tired. Nick is giggle fest right now. Okay, so he's getting out of two of the arcs, right? He's, he's out of the he's out of yellow and orange. He does have PTL, so he can boost here and, he'd make and it out of possibly green slip here. out of green. Yep. Yeah, that's close. So that's gonna get. He's gonna be shoot. That is no. That is she's or. He's gonna be shooting orange again. You gotta focus your fire there. It'll be range one. We need a stress on the Caesar from PTL. So, you know what? I can give him a stress from here. <laughs> All right, so we're checking, uh, checking range here. Yes. Here comes four dice. Uh, he'll establish a target lock with fire control system after this. Ben is not rolling in the dice. Thanks, Ben. The, I don't care about those. I don't take them out. Take them out. Got him. That's a hit. All right. So orange takes another shield. Fire control system is established, and here comes these two from Dalen. There we go, in the box. Uh, he does have a target lock available. Looks like he's willing to spend that focus. All righty, there it goes. Hit, crit, crit. Uh, doesn't get it. Reinforce takes away the hit. That'll be a shield and a crit. We'll see what that crit is here in a moment. Stunned pilot. After you execute a maneuver, if you are touching another ship, it uh, doesn't really matter. He's pilot skill one. He shouldn't be bumping things. Unless he, he, one thing he does lose is the ability, or not lose, but 
it's riskier now to go run through rocks, which I have seen Wookiees do because they don't care about their health. They're just like, whatever. All right. Yeah, you forgot to roll the ball. Wookiee commandos for one. Um, That's an it's evaded, so I'm not sure. This is blue now into Seizor for four. This needs to go through. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> that is a one shield. You know what? That's that's my bad. I'm jinxing Tony here by <laughs> my mere presence. That's on me, Tony. Sorry. It's right. Uh, Gordon, we have to be impartial. We have to be impartial. Oh, that's right. That's your new shtick that, now, this whole fourth thing. wall thing. Correct. No, 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 no. We are the fourth wall. Not this, not this episode. You're not... <laughs> People get so mad. <laughs> That's for you, right? That's your yeah. inbox, not mine. <laughs> they don't even know who I am, remember? This is true. This is all coming your way. Auto thrusters, uh, he's going to be taking one. <laughs> and this is... Orange. So that's Daylin has a card, right? Okay, so here's the deal. What would you guys do as far as uh, w you can't keep this block together, right? Unless he can sell out and take down a, a Viper here of some kind. It does. Right. You, you think he's keeping his block together? Or no, you're talking about the Viper. Um, so as far as the Wookiees here, does he like peel them off like well, he's, he's two hards in, on, in either direction or is he going to keep them together to try? Because this is... He's got Dalen hurting right now. Um, I mean, generally you want to try to focus fire if you can. Dalen is stressed. Ben knows this, right? Is there an exit plan for, for Dalen? Right. I mean... Which ship, is Dalen, which ship is Dalen? Is the red one here, top okay. left. All right. The stress has been rectified. And Ben is thinking about his uh, his Dalen dial. I mean, he doesn't, if Tony decides to go hard two. For the entire The, the entire block, I think. He's he giving up then. He's selling out for one. Let's say he gets it, though. Now he's really got these Vipers in his rear arc. Right. Oops, I keep bumping the mic here. Such a noob. R2 blocks the one bank to the left. If you one bank, he can go right. That He might be able to dodge a couple of them. Maybe two. I don't know if he can get out of all of them, though. Right, yeah. They're doing one forward, so Dalen has a chance here. Oh, you're right. That's that bottom, the okay. green one. All right, one second. I'm getting. This is must be what it's like for you at a thousandth of a of the scale. Is you get all the hate messaging in volume. I get one hate messaging. I'm being called out for not mentioning my local group. Oh, correct. Tony plays in the Outer Rim Heroes group in Louisville. Correct. There. I have your I have your guys' T-shirt. Brian, I because I gave it to you. That's right. Did you ever wear it in one of your town hall meetings? Uh, not yet. It's coming up. Mm -hmm. It's coming up. It mostly goes forward. It's going to tilt a little bit by a couple degrees. Uh, our engineer here gives us exactly 13 <laughs> degrees. It's guaranteed. Um, this is Zach uh, Bart out of Indianapolis, future employers. He knows exactly how many degrees. All right, so. Here is blue. Looks like blue might be trying to do the same deal. So here's the question. With that, does he might have blocked the one forward from uh, Seizure on the bottom with that just that slight angle? Though, I, if I'm Ben, I'm going to take my one forward and put it as far to the left as possible and then try to put my ship as far to the left as possible. 
and he you might can only do that with the cheaty templates, though, right? It only works with regular templates, oh, too, does but it? just not as much. As much, okay. If he had those, he definitely gets out of that. Gordon, they're advantage templates. Advantage. Yeah, advantage. Are the Gold Squadron templates I'm going to receive advantage templates, Dion? No comment. I can't talk about that. <laughs> Quit breaking the fourth wall, Dion. <laughs> See how I set you up there? <laughs> Alrighty. So he does the two hearts in the. F so he. Mm. I guess what the idea here is that he's casting a wide net to be able to possibly, if he can get four arcs onto Dalen, I think great. But he's threatening um, Guri as well from mm -hmm. just kind of diving in. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was hoping for a miracle bump out of, out of Zizor. I mean, should Zizor have done a, like maybe one bank to the left and then do all the barrel roll shenanigans to get bring Ark back again? You would have one bank ragged anyway? You didn't care? Right. So Looks like he's taking focuses now, right? Uh, he focused with the yellow one and reinforced with the hurt one with in the, the front. Gotcha. So Shizor's shot, shot will not be reinforced. He does have a target lock, so he does have modifiers. We still got a lot of time in this game. Um, if he can kill... So he's got he got to kill two Wookies and have one of his Star Vipers alive and then just survive after that. That's going to be Ben's win condition, and Tony is looking for uh, looking to make sure that he can kill two Vipers. <laughs> I mean, if he did the three straight. That would be crazy. That's a so he's he's getting guns on target here. Mm. Yep. Focus for defense. Green and blue will be taking shots over there if they need to. It's the one. So that Dalen is in a bad spot. He can boost to the left is still in the arc. You gotta try. Can you? That's going to be close. That's close. Oh, excellent. He is just out of green and blue. That was an excellent move. Yeah. Yep. That was an excellent fly. So if I'm Dalen, I probably shoot yellow to see if I can get him to spend his focus. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't want to, but... Oh, oh, here's that one forward we're talking about. Hold on your ship. Put it all the way in the corner. Does it? Looks like it makes it. He's good. That's clean. Uh, so that clears the stress. He's got a target lock already on the orange one. You can't see it because it's behind the model currently. And shifting it to blue. Sh yeah. Okay, so he's gonna fo he's gonna focus fire blue. And what's the damage state of blue? He's full. Full. But he didn't get to take a reinforce or anything, so Correct. this is going to be a painful round. So here he goes, range one on blue, target lock focus. Four dice. We're going to flip that uh, the blank. That's going to be four hits. Uh, here's here's the Wookiee. Wookiee gets the evade. Shields are gone. Here comes Dalen. Range one. This is uh, unmodded dice. Gets two usually. There's hit crit. It's pretty good. Uh, he has it. Oh wow. Okay. In, in a tray. It's absolutely. 
Uh, hit, hit, crit is going to stick at least three. We're waiting for the crit. Damage engine. That is relevant for Wookiees for sure. Can't hard two and reinforce anymore. It's going to be at three hole. Here comes a third shot. Range two. She's got a focus out there. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Oh, he. Let's see. Gotta, gotta depends on what the crit hits. is. There's two crits coming in. Council fire, thrust control. So he's going to be stressed. Yeah, he did. And a council fire. So one hole. So he's going to be forced to take. Does he risk the uh, burning up on the council fire to take, say, a reinforce action? Because he's probably going to bail that guy out. He's probably going to run him three bank one way or the other. But then you're going to be maybe dying to council fire. Mm. Right. But at this point, it's like you're going to lose him anyway, so why not take the chance? All right. So here comes the Wookiees. He keeps forgetting. Yep. He's nervous. All right, Wookiees for one. Here comes three dice. Usually one on three dice. There it is. Here comes yellow. Yellow does have a focus. Looking for about two and a half hits. Oh. Ooh. No consequences. <laughs> <laughs> and we're checking the blue and the green. I know he wants Dalen, uh, but he's he has to go for Guri. We know it's a range two shot, so auto thrusters are not active. Guri always <laughs> dies for no reason, and there's your that's <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Triple crits, and she's going to be taking a shield and a crit. Put it in the box. Double damage. Gary's like, nope, I'm done. I'm not playing this game anymore. Uh, but here comes Green. Oh. Spend the focus takes one. Correct. As God intended. Yeah. Uh, let me, I have to fix orange. It's all right. Wait, two one point or is Dalen accurately at three? You said two one. I think Dalen's at three, unless unless Maybe Dion, you missed an update. I may have missed. Do we an need update. to go get a damage update? All right, we could take a we could take a peek here. No, uh, no, Dalen only has one. Mikhail, do you mind? It's fine. Oh. We, we could see we could see right there. It only has one. Okay, never mind. One card. This is a new way to The amazing HD camera quality of the Gold Squadron. Podcast. Thank you to my patrons <laughs> like Gordon Berg. When you get, when you get 4K streaming. 4K streaming. So. Currently, 4K is not supported um, through a 100-foot extension. Once that's available, I will be able to do it. You keep having those bust. Yeah, they, they, they're they they Because are things. they taking them out? They don't know what they are? They're looking at them, and things are just... And then they break them. And yeah. Yeah. Well, we can do 1080p. I'm sorry. I paid no, for I, I, I paid for 4K. You paid for 4K. I, I will tell you once 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 that becomes available, I'll buy it. I'll get I'll get the 4K extenders. I'll do it. Do I have to up my pledge level to eight dollars a month and stuff? <laughs> portable that'd be amazing. But now I have to carry. How how do I carry that to to Portland? Is that, that's my problem to figure out. I mail it. To okay, since these guys aren't going to be professional, just let me take over here. All right, so. We know orange and yellow, shockingly, are probably turning left hard twos, right? Yep. Just to try to get arcs back there. Mm -hmm. So we have a damage. Does engine. Ben even care about those two shots? Damage engine on. On blue. On blue. R blue is bailing and just hoping he lives. I just don't see how he does anything else. And the trick is whether or not Ben still tries to set up a, a downtown shot on that. Did, hold on. Let's take a look at where Orange is. If only someone would go check damage. Thanks, Mikhail. No, Since no. Since Tyler his, won't get his up. One. Just what, there's one. He just had the crit. Sorry about that. What was the crit? Do we remember? Bump damage. Bump and take damage. 
So he's at five. Right, he's going to come back and say he has five holes. We have a call save. that Blue is going to defend by blocking as opposed to bailing and taking the reinforce. So we'll see. Is Look, that what a good pilot would do? Block, block with blue? Block how, though? That, I'm just reading what the chat says. Man. <laughs> I don't know. If he does a one forward, the, the, the Caesar one or the Dalen one forward still fits. Yeah, even if they both too hard. True. Yep. Uh, orange has five hole with just a uh, the crit on it. Cool. Confirmation from Mikhail. Thank you. It takes a village. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're waiting here. Um, which dial are we waiting for? Looks like we're waiting for green's dial and for Ben. Man. I think you try to take... Right. One forward? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And figure it out later. Yep. Nice. This is the beauty of Star Vipers. <laughs> I can be anywhere. The rebel, the rebel is up. One forward, one forward to victory. All right, so we, we are still waiting for Green's dial. I always find it interesting. I like to put my dials down all at the same time rather than holding out the one. That, really? uh, that I'm thinking about. I, I can't process that much. I, I've got to do one ship, then I'm going to Well, the I just hold, like, even if it's ship. done, I'll just hold on to it because I don't want you to know which one I'm thinking about. Oh. You know what? I'm so tuning out of all that kind of stuff, although I know I should be doing Duncan Howard level of paying attention to those kind of things. I don't. I just. Correct. I think that level of intrigue is totally wasted. All righty, so we got the two hards. Right, which is what we expected. And we got to reinforce out of the uh, out of the orange one. Uh, let's see, he's debating. There's the focus. He's trying to stay offensive. Yeah. Um, and he knows that, and I think he does that intentionally. If he knows where the target's coming and he knows it may get burned down, he thinks he needs to then get the offense out of it while he no, can. He's to bait shoot yellow. Yellow oh, healthy. oh, is yellow healthy? Yeah. But I, he, it's he explained the opposite unless I totally misunderstood what he said, which was no, I want to take focus here because I know it's coming. I'm like, I don't understand that at all. Yeah, he's but trying okay. to draw, draw. He's trying to draw some fire. Yeah. Yeah, maybe right as a bait. Yeah. Force you into split fire. All right, so blue is gunning it. All right, so he's not going for the block. Does he take the rear reinforce? Or does he, he, he does, does he try to flip it? He's debating. Did he? Did he? Or did he put a token down? What did I miss? Console, you got did he, did he do an action with blue? Uh, the crit token is still there. We'll take a look. This is true. Let's see, can we take a peek? Yep, okay, so he did flip console fire. He's no longer on fire. But now what happens is Ben has to take a take the time to kill it. Gurry will be What was the thinking on the green there? Is he trying to block? I think he think he's trying to protect blue or draw fire off of blue because it's healthy. Yep. Okay. Okay. A regular barrel roll would be nice here. <laughs> In X-wing 2.0, you can choose your barrel roll. Barrel back, peeling backwards. Actually, yeah. Does it? F it should fit. I, I like I like to peel out. Tokyo Drift. Nothing, Zach. 
Oh, no. All right, so he here's the push. What is he pushing for? Looks like he's just willing to sack. Okay. It's target locking green. Okay. I like it. Here's the one bank. I that that may that's, that's close. close. That may bump. Oh, oh that looked that like that fit. slid in. Yeah. That is amazing. We'll know if he puts any tokens down. And it looks like he's debating action, so it looks like that fits. It's amazing how the game came down to that. Because if it fits, there's return fire from that green. Maybe he was hoping for the bump. Yeah. He's, where does he go? Because uh, if he if he bumps here, Dalen Dalen is the one that's hurting. He's uh, he has or he has some damage on him. Does he does he want to shoot? Does he barrel roll back out of green arc to the right, and then not shoot? Yeah, you have to barrel roll cut, back right. Cut right? down, bite, and boost. Yeah. I know he's so he is going to get shot. What's his follow up? Why that position as opposed to where he was before? He's only going to get shot by green. Oh, he's getting. Duh. I kept, I kept thinking four darks. You're uh, good. You're good. Yeah, the orange and the yellow. And you take the focus and hope not to get pounded too hard. So I think we're going to lose a Star Viper here no matter what. I think so. There's. I have a feeling we're going to see Igor use ability. Oh, what is, what is even that whole. He has damage on him. And if he barrel rolls, he has a choice of Dalen or Guardian. No, that's it. No, that's it. No, no, she's or ability because he's Balin. So, range two just takes away that extra dice from the Wookiees. Zach was all excited for Zizor's ability. That would be significantly better. <laughs> all right, so here comes <laughs> here comes uh, Shizor picking a target. He's going at orange. And does uh, he spend it? That is not. A, that is not. That don't do it. Oh, oh that's greedy. Hey, that's so way greedy. to break the fourth wall again. It's you can't have an opinion. It, it's he it's damage, he did he did one damage unto orange. I mean that is objectively greedy. It is objective. Then say that. <laughs> is, that is an objectively greedy choice. Don't you tell him what he can and can't do, Dion. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he killed. Because they flip. Right. All right, so he pointed at green. He pointed at green. He did. I swear he pointed at green. Is he regretting his life choices now that he pointed at green? Rolling. So he's gonna deal two to green. Oh no, that was that was on green, yeah. Because Tony just picked up shields. So that should be two shields lost on green. Yep. I think. Right. He rolled an evade. And he had and. Oh. He, uh, no, he's reinforcing the back. Okay, so three. Mm -hmm. Wow. And he's spending that. These rolls. Oh, wow. These rolls. 
So that's going to be two crits. And no, a hit and a crit, excuse me. And we don't know what the crit is. There it is. Major explosion. Uh-oh. And that's, that's a focus. hit. That's okay. a focus. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. All righty. So... Right, it's it's what happens with the consequences on these return rolls, right? Because right. you just modded everything for attack, so. Did he forget Guri's ability? Does Guri have a focus behind it? Got it, got it, got it, got it. So used up motions by repositioning. Won't mean anything if he doesn't get naturals here. Here comes Wookie Commandos for hit crit. And all the thrusters. Here comes green, I believe, on uh, Dalen. No, this is orange, sorry. Auto thrusters. Wow. Uh, that's a crit. Yellow is range two. So he would have survived. He wouldn't have spent that focus on attack, absolutely. Here comes Green coming into Dalen. He might be able to do some significant damage here. This is no mods on no mods. There comes, Wookie oh, sorry, you got Wookiees. Roll. Okay. Two, uh, probably does at least one here. Gets okay. them both. So Dalen is now sitting at one hull. Wow. So I, I think Ben's aggression and splitting fire is what's, is what's costing him right now. Because if he not shooting blue make I mean he can ki he can kill, kill blue later but i mean <laughs> so let me uh double check health here so all right so one two three it's one one two so this one should be at four so he's got time so what are the order of of targets here, assuming he's going to try to win on points. Right, so he's he's bugging out, you think, now. <laughs> what would you do, Tyler? You'd, you'd bug out. Because if they do, if they do the too hard, you just bump into the back. Mm-hmm. Hey, Scott, those ships do look good on camera. If you're just now tuning in, I spoke about the, the backstory behind it. G give it to us one more time. Oh, uh, say hi to Scott, everybody. He is the guy who 3D printed uh, those ships with his son, Will, and then they painted them for me and sent them to me. And then my friend asked to fly them. Looking good. There you go. See? Yeah. Be sure to check out the Gold Squadron podcast later as either a Twitch Prime subscriber <laughs> or on YouTube later. There you go. And then you can hear yourself talked about. <laughs> uh, everything will be on YouTube tonight. Listen, I intend to listen again just to listen to myself. That sounds correct. <laughs> All righty. So we're getting uh, Wookiees down. Looks like Ben was asking for a damage update. How's Orange doing? Hmm. So right now, let's uh, let's do some percentages here. Where, what do you think are uh, where where do you think we're landing? In terms of who's going to win this? Correct. Oh, the Wookies. Wookies. Yeah. So like, are we talking about like, are you talking about like ninety ten? Are we sixty forty? Where are you at? So Zach Bark says seventy thirty. In favor of the Wookies. Well, Tyler, where are you at? Uh, I think it's really closer to fifty fifty now. All right. Really. Tyler. Would you say 70-30? Well, then I got to go 80-20. There's um, the only thing left. So I'm I'm going 60-40. Exactly, because I knew you were taking 60-40. I'm, I'm taking 60-40 mostly because I think Ben has made a couple of decisions, like on spending the focus, being really aggressive on the attack, and not thinking about the defense when he has less health. So, like, I'm, I'm questioning his decision-making. It's, it's basically what's happening. Where it's like If he continues to be this aggressive and not care about getting shot, that's going to lose him the game. Okay. That may be valid. 
and that may be very astute analysis, but you're focusing on the wrong thing. These are Tron <laughs> transport Wookiee ships. I'm sorry. Correct. That is why it is 80-20. <laughs> Duh. Cordis says, why, why analyze? Look at the ships. What, are you stupid? <laughs> Come on. So... The, the well, yellow's the most hel healthy, so he could care less that the yellow's three not four, getting The three action. forward might get him out. A three forward boost roll up. Yeah. Yep. And he flips that. Yeah, we all think Zizer should hide here. I saw a hesitation there. Did he make a mistake? Let's look too hard. I'm not sure. Okay. And I think that's a good choice because it's like if you're going to ignore me, then you're going to take a shot. By the way, uh, those templates being used by Tony are uh, Curl Paul Creators, one of our sponsors for System Open Series. Manufactured by who again? By Andrew Knuckles. And he just did what? Uh, which which what? He's done a lot of stuff. No, like yesterday. Yesterday. What did he do yesterday? He won it. Oh, he won the Atlanta Regional. Congratulations. <laughs> what, what did he, he, was he flying the Ghost? Yeah, he flew yeah. the Ghost. Oh, he always flies the Ghost. Okay. I don't know if he's flying a traditional, the latest version. He's flying no, his own version. He, he flies Star Vipers. He was flying a Jyn Erso crew on his, I think, right? There was a couple different versions of it. I think that's what he had. All right, so one bank. So a damage engine uh, made it so that the blue Wookiee does not have any actions this turn. And yeah, now he now had Jin and Ray. He had Jin and Ray. All right, here comes the one bank to clear the stress for Dalen. We do not allow that kind of negative thinking, Scott. Your own ships will be on stream one day. Uh, All you got to do is believe. Ethan, um, I'm not sure how he's doing right now. I, I can't. Do, have we gotten an update on the other matches? Uh, we haven't. That would be great if somebody. If only we had someone standing around next to us, not uh, on one of these microphones. I can't count that high. So many people standing around us. Say it again. Yeah. All right, and now we wait. So that was the one bank. He barrel rolls to not get shot because you don't want to get shot. Yep. Does he have arc on that? That's close. Dalen? I do. Pencil. Well, it's also at an angle. It's not top down. So three forward is just going to make it. Tippett gets lucky on the call. <laughs> so now he's. Yeah, but we ignore you. So now he's got a bail. Um, does he see it? Right, I mean that's 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 the right choice. He's still getting two what range three shots from the, which is fine because the thrusters. You don't think green and blue will both? Oh, durr, yep. And barrel roll, out and up. But his target lock is back on. You don't think he's gonna mod his shot? You think he's just gonna? Right. So when you say blue's gonna die, oh, sorry guys. What'd you just do? Ah, yeah. Woo -hoo. 
Oh, you know what? I totally didn't. I totally so didn't see it. He, he does do the uh, the barrel roll up. Okay, good call. Jesse Rader beat Adam Kempers. All right. Uh, do we want to do a quick uh, report? Go update for it. Before we go? Okay. Jesse Rader beat Adam Kempers, which was what? Ghost on ghost violence? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jesse beat me in round six. So who won this one? Joe versus Brandon? It's a close game right now. It's close. Yeah. And well that's... Well and what are the uh, lists? Nate Moore. What, um, real quick, what are the lists? Uh, Palp Aces. Palp Aces versus? Versus uh, Rebel. Rebel. Junkyard, junk, oh, the, the four ships, right. Uh, Nate, Nate Moore, your buddy Nate. Dion. Yep. Lost Ray. Ryan Miranda versus Ryan, who's lost Finn. Ghost is ahead. Okay, so how would you call the Nate Brian, Ryan matchup? I would say Ryan probably ahead. Ryan ahead of Nate, maybe. Okay. Is, is g the Ghost uh, at half yet? Ghost is at half. And then what is this? Miranda. That's tough. Close. Versus Finn Ghost? Two. Okay. Range three shot at green. And one evade. This is going to be two damage. So we definitely have one ghost moving on to the top four. On we green? We definitely have a ghost moving on top four. Okay. So he's going to be sitting at two for green. And he's debating, spending the. He doesn't have a reinforce. There you go. So blue is going to be off the table here. All right. So that's uh, 25 points there scored for Ben. But this is not, this is far from over. So the Wookiees run for the next. I'm kidding. <laughs> and then he wouldn't be on head on points. Okay, quick update, because you were just asked why no Outrider podcast. Oh, it's coming. It's I know it is. We, we just we have to do. You, you know have a life, and right. <laughs> you're a little busy. Right. Because we've decided we're going to have you host it. Oh, right, right, right. And so we'll all call into you. Yes. So you will give us a heads up when you want to do that. Absolutely. A year from now. Got it. All right. So this is green. Oh. Range two, Wookie Commandos. No damage. That is huge. Thrusters are on. Oh, oh, man. All right, so that, that shifts some stuff right there. Because quite a few of the Wookiees are, are are on fire right now. What's that smell of fur? If you can take if you take green out, green only has two. Um, he's ahead on points. And then he can start playing super cagey. The Wookiees. Um, so that earlier decision to really pound green while he had those range one out. shots may work out. It's going to so work out. So we're back to 50-50 now, Tyler. Is that what you think? It's now better than 50-50. Now it's 70-30 in the Vipers. 80-20. No, no, no. I'm the 80-20. Oh, in the other direction. Right. <laughs> I'm now 20-80. Right, I went. I was 60-40 uh, towards Anthony right now. Can you? Is, are, uh, hello. That, that, that's, that's my daughter. My daughter's FaceTiming in right now. Guys, you've. Is that on? That's just on your phone. That's just We're on not, my phone. They can't see this. Oh my God, she is adorable. My baby girl. Adopted, clearly. <laughs> Uh, she gets her looks from her mother. Oh, a different father? Got it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so here comes the uh, the hard two from Orange. Looks like he's just trying to trying to cover green right now. You put your arc out there. You focus. Yeah, you have to be you have to be offensive here. I wish your daughter would cheer up. She's frowning all the time. Look at her, mumby. <laughs> Laugh a little, kid. For those who can't see, she's giggling and laughing. That's Gordon being Gordon. <laughs> I apologize for <laughs> being myself, my bad. <laughs> I'll stop. All right, here is... Uh, I totally ruined your profession. You, you knew I would do this. Oh, you this knew it was a bad idea to have me on. My daughter's asking me to sing Wheels on the Bus. We'll get that done after this. Somebody's really close behind me. I felt, I felt, yeah, I felt, Zach I giving felt you rep. Hey, they weren't putting bread rolls on your shoulder at dinner last night like they were doing to me. Did someone take a picture of that and post it or no? I, I mean, or did someone, did Chad really screw up taking a picture? With, he couldn't even operate a, an iPhone. That's, a, that's awesome. So, reinforce is on the back. Um, yep. Because, so here, here is just uh, some rules reference. Some people get, get reinforced confused. Um, if you have the back reinforced, it says if you 
are if your other ship is anywhere in the front, the back reinforce doesn't work, which effectively makes the the he's doing the barrel roll that way. Are you saying it's the physical presence of the ship and, if, yeah, so and if drawn to it? It's not shooting arcs. It's correct. Okay. Correct. If if you're if the f if you have an arc on it and anywhere part of your base is in front of that line, and you're reinforcing the back. You are technically shooting the front. Okay. So the reinforce doesn't trigger. Because um, I was asked to explain a couple times running look, and I realized I couldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I had to like judge. Yep. So basically, the front reinforce is bigger than the back reinforce. Is how that works. By by quite a bit. Really? Brain hurts now. Wait, what? Yep. Yep, it goes around. All right, so here comes forward one. So it looks like uh, Guri is, not Guri, excuse me, Shizor. Is uh, he's range one? He's probably gonna barrel roll to the right. Sorry, that's our right, screen right, mm. actual left stage. And he's gonna take that range one shot. This is not reinforced. No mods though. Three on one. Math says it works, but we gotta see what the dice do. Right. So here comes four dice. Usually get two. That's going to be enough. So green is going to be going. And green is off the table here. So here comes no reinforce on orange currently. Def All right, so... Oh, they're checking arc. Would it's you call close. it 90-10 now at this point? Is that a judge call? The work? only way this is going to work is if uh, Dalen dies here. Right. And then he has two on one with constant. Otherwise, Zizor closes it out. Three hits on orange. It's not enough to kill it. No reinforce takes two. Yep. This is the game right here, isn't it? Orange has a, what, a range two? But he's got, what, a focus left? And that's it. Spending one. Three blanks is, is dead. No. That's enough. No. All right, so now, uh, oh, here comes yellow. Yellow does have an attack. Uh, range threes, auto thrusters are on. He's got to focus. He's going to spend that for two. And uh, that's enough. So now the burden of execution is on Anthony to make sure he can track down Dalen Oberos and not lose two Wookiees, or for Ben to either kill a Wookiee and then just kind of get away, or just you know just continue to dance for ten minutes. Okay, so catch us up. This has been all over Vassal. Be okay, so why this as opposed to any other aces? Is it because it's one thing that can get triple auto thrusters in three ships as opposed to just two? It's really just the ultimate flying machine, the, the BMW of, uh, of aces? P what about PS problems, though, like what you just brought up? Okay. Okay. So you've got to be able to predict and set up the block until you know for a fact you're going to be out of arc. Okay. So here's the one bank from Orange. Uh, he's going to probably reinforce on this guy. Okay. He's reinforcing the front. So you make one mistake and you're in trouble, but you have the option to always block or shoot. Hard two. Yeah, three forward gets him out. I think that is the three forward. Yep. Yeah. Probably barrel, barrel roll first and then straight boost.
He can. All right, he's he's just he's getting aggressive, going at yellow. Someone just handed me uh, a note that says Star Vipers. How many exclamation points are on there? Three. Not enough. I, right. would, I, I hadn't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> One for each hit is going to roll. <laughs> One straight. And um, Shizor is, uh, has the most health out of all of them. Could you boost and then roll this way to get out of arc? True. That's true. That's very true. Uh, if, if you guys can't hear Tyler over my shoulder, he's saying uh, the roll to the left uh, forward can possibly get you out of the range three. He's boosting first. He's getting aggressive. So just mathematically, focus is always better than an extra dice. Um, but Wait, it, it is. On what? Just attacking. If you have a choice between you a focus. You have target lock already. Yeah. He already has mods. It's, it's, not, always, it's not always mathematical. He, he, just in a I'm general statement. Gen in general okay. statement. The one okay. fallacy committed by any new player is like, I was able to get five dice. No, no, no. You should have target locked. Here we go. Here's focus. a target lock. Boom. He's going to get to Good. save that focus. Wow. Orange wow, is off the table, and away. now. He gets, he gets two. Takes two uh -huh, yeah. So, so this game, this game flipped really quickly, uh, into Ben's favor. Double, double damage. Super oh. dead. Whoa. And uh, and yellow is uh is yeah. the last hope. Yeah, that's it. Hey, I'm looking at like I'm playing. Getting back into the wave one to three tourney again. <laughs> <laughs> so here is uh, range one. He's going to be taking one shield there on yellow. He's going to reach just range three. He's going to spend it for two. Shizor is okay if he takes damage here, but doesn't want oh, to. Wow. Yeah. And uh, now this is going to be a cat and mouse game now. Uh, the well, Wookie and Butterfly, Chase. But it's it's there's no reason to think. Yep. Anything can be done. Right. I mean, cause at this point, just stay patient until you have your shot where you don't take return fire. Yep. Dalen probably what does a one bank here and just figures it out later. Um, Shizor can just three mm. straight. We know the Wookie's doing hard too here. Yep. You can run one and just get the other to dance behind all day long. Without the cover of the other ships, this is impossible. Oh, here's the forward one. He has arc on him. So we For sure now. There's a focus. He might just be missing that arc, but it's 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 close enough. For pride. <laughs> this is this is very true. I think that's going to be probably one of the big storylines uh, in this regional is the fact that four Star Vipers is are going to make the top four. The largest regional ever. Is in it the United really the largest? The largest, largest, largest sure? regional ever was. Look, one, we're assuming that the data in List Juggler is correct. So if you were to look at Madrid 2016, that has an entry of 200. Okay, we okay. had what 162 playing. Right. That tops any. F that that would fit second. Nice. But that's not entered in. Sure. And so. Yeah, right. Chicago would have been barely just under it. Right. And this would have been ahead of it by a few people. You know what? Mid Midwest on top? Right? Midwest on top? <laughs> <laughs> Indiana and Chicago. Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah. 
You mean the real Indiana Regional? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we're checking classic. checking arc here. Only if Zach Matthews shows up. And uh, this is a judge call, as you see, uh, Nick Revo. Oh, out in uh, New Mexico to make to make grass are happy. Put him in the box. So we are. Uh, that was no shot there. We got three uh, three minutes left on the clock. I want to remind everybody uh, that uh, Family Time Games has been uh, awesome, hosting this regional for us, uh, providing a space to stream. Thank you, huge thank you to them. Ooh, five forward. Sometimes we forget that the Wookie has that. He's taking a stretch. He's like, you know what? I want to. I w I want to try to catch you. I mean, he has a pretty big net right now, but most likely Gurry will be able to just get behind the rock with focus. We'll see Dalen boost here. Focus. Looks like he's grabbing a... Grabbing a lock, okay. If the Wookiee does anything funky, he has space to, to get out. That's the reason for no boost there. So we got a range. Is that two or three? Let's see. Two hits. Uh, he does have the target lock. He's debating. He, he didn't. Because he felt it. He felt that. He felt it in the force. He's like, no, we'll wait next turn. That's looking like it's passing through. Nope. Yep. And he probably has to hard two. He could risk a three bank if that can clear the rock, maybe. Uh, Whereas if he goes so hard two, then he may still find himself out of three on the follow-up shot. The Wookie, I don't think, I don't think this Wookie can can get a get, get a shot again. If unless Ben makes a mistake. <laughs> Accidents happen. Accidents happen. So. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Three hard um, uh, around the rock here. I'm being asked about a French in the Kale update. You had lost in the first round, right, Mikhail? Lost, uh, and French went out in what, top 16? Yeah. Okay. What do we have here? Ryan beat Nate. So what list is that that went through? No, that that's, beat a Ray. that's a two ghost top four. Two ghosts or top four. So we're going to have two ghosts, a star viper. Gosh, what are we going to talk about on our next podcast, Mikhail? Positive things. Positive things. That's right. We're the cheerleaders. What happened? You face Ghost, Ghost Ben, Ghost Ben, and then Miranda Ray. So that's the answer. And what is that, Pal Paces? No, this is Ghost Fen. Oh, a Ghost Fen. <laughs> I don't care about Ghost Fen on Ghost Fen violence. The challenge for me is the next time we record, how do I stay positive about Ghost Fen? <laughs> Uh, I want to tell everybody, uh, thank you so much for watching today. If you want to support our programming here, Gold Squadron Podcast, there's a couple ways to do that. First way is the biggest group of people who support us. That's our Patreons. Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash gold squadron. Support our, our channel, all the equipment, all that, and uh, get cool swag. We're actually going to be shipping here a pretty big card set in a couple of, about a week. Uh, here we go. Here's Caesar at the back. Two evades. Uh, you can also support us if you have Amazon Prime. You can connect your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account and become a Prime subscriber. All right. And Rebel Jank advanced. Oh. I, I that, that four ship. That's Brandon Thayer. Yeah. Uh, Ezra, Ezra was snapshot, aren't pretty good. Um, a rookie was just 
And did he just put? The, is that the blue? Did he just put the blue one in there? It's mostly invisible. <laughs> All righty. So that's uh, time in the round. Good run, Tony. Well so, done, Ben. So our top four is Triple Star Vipers, Rebel Jank, which we did see Brandon Thayer flying, and two Ghostless. Two Ghostless. Two Ghostless. So we'll see what we get here. Um, we'll see how the bracket turns out. Um, I kind, I kind of hope. I'm be honest. I kind of hope. He, here's me breaking the fourth wall. You ready? Yeah. Here's my opinion. I kind of don't want. I kind of want Brandon to face a ghost. And uh, this was what's it? What was his name again? Forgot his name already. The uh, Ryan. Yeah. Ben. ben. And I want to see. Oh Brandon no, the face guy that was just on the stream. Right. The guy who was just on the stream. Yeah. And hopefully we don't get. I don't really don't want a ghost and ghost mirror match at the end. Uh, right, see, right. See, see, see what we can see what we can get. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if no, you are a network in programming and you want to see s the opposite coast teams e in exactly. the Super Bowl, we're doing the same thing. Exactly. So um, we'll be back. We're going to take a small break and see how the pairings go up, and we'll see what match we bring you. Uh, thanks for watching, and thanks for supporting us. We'll be back. See you guys. <laughs>